Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. In our wonderful, awe-inspiring world, there's thousands of species of beautiful plants and flowers. Most are harmless, though a few can cause illness, rash, or even poison us. However, there are also a few plants that actually eat animals. You may know about the first one on this list, but some of the ones further down may surprise you. Number 10. Venus Flytrap the Venus flytrap is to other carnivorous plants what the Tyrannosaurus rex is to dinosaurs. Maybe not the biggest, but certainly the most well-known member of its breed. This plant is mostly known for its carnivorous eating habits, but is sometimes portrayed to be much scarier than it actually is. What many people don't know is that the plant is actually quite small and that their main prey are ants. However, they will also eat flies, slugs, spiders, and even the occasional tiny frog. Fly traps aren't able to fulfill their whole nutrition through bugs, however. Just like other plants, they also need water and sunlight. The bugs simply supplement their diet. The most interesting thing about this plant is how it eats. The fly trap lures insects towards its traps by secreting fragrant nectar, and when the bug lands in its jaw, small hairs will pick up any movement. There must be at least two movements in 20 seconds or the petals won't close. This prevents it from trapping other items that wouldn't make a good meal. Number 9. Waterwheel Plant the waterwheel plant is considered to be the aquatic version of the Venus flytrap, and for good reason. The way it works is very similar to its distant cousin, which we explained in the previous segment of this list. Unlike the Venus flytrap, this plant does not have any roots, instead floating around on the surface of lakes attracting bugs with its enticing traps. When a bug walks into the trigger hairs of this plant, the water wheel can close its trap in 10 to 20 milliseconds, which actually makes it one of the fastest examples of plant movement in the plant kingdom. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, nowadays, the water wheel plant is an endangered species, with diminishing numbers speeding up because of habitat loss. Three quarters of the surviving population grow in the exclusion zone surrounding the Chernobyl nuclear disaster site. Number 8. Butterwort this plant is native to Eurasia and all three areas of the Americas, North, Central, and South. When you first look at it, you would never guess that this petite flower would be able to prey on insects. The common butterwort is a pretty looking purple flower that looks like your average flower growing near the road. However, unlike most of the plants on today's list, this flower does not attract insects with a sweet smell. Rather, it secretes a sticky liquid which their prey mistakes for water droplets. When the insect gets stuck on the sticky goo, it will slowly be digested by the plant's digestive enzymes. You can often tell when the butterwort had a good meal, as you may find remaining exoskeletons of insects on their leaves after they are done eating. This just goes to show that you should never judge a book by its cover. Number 7. Waridula. This plant is an especially interesting one, and you'll soon see why. This plant, native to South Africa, doesn't actually digest the insects themselves, but relies on a symbiotic relationship with a bug called Pomeridia. Now, if you don't know what a symbiotic relationship is, here is a quick, simple explanation. A symbiotic relationship is described as the living together of unlike organisms, and is mainly used for the mutual benefit of both species included. For the Roradula, this works as such. The plant captures the insects with its sticky hairs, but does not actually digest them. The Pomeridia bug comes along and eats the insects off of the plant. What does the plant get out of this, you ask? Well, after Pomeridia is done eating, it excretes waste which is especially rich in nutrients. This waste is then absorbed by the plant. Easy as that. Number 6. Portuguese Sundew We didn't think we would ever say this, but this plant can be forgiven with the fact that it eats insects. The Portuguese Sundew grows in nutrient-poor soil along the coast of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco, which is why it needs the extra nutrients to keep itself healthy. If it wouldn't be able to get more nutrients by eating insects, it wouldn't be able to keep growing and would simply wilt. Like many other carnivorous plants on this list, the Portuguese Sundew attracts bugs with a sweet aroma, then captures them with a sticky substance on its leaves and traps the insects. It continues to dissolve the unfortunate bug with digestive enzymes, absorbing the nutrients so it can live another day. Tell us what you think of this plant down below. We would love to hear your opinion. Number 5. Cobra Lily 
When looking at it, you may easily be able to see why this plant was named the cobra lily. It looks like the fearsome cobra ready to strike. This rare plant can be found in Oregon and Northern California. The lily is considered to be a quite diabolical plant, and here is why. This plant can lure insects towards its pitcher with a sweet smell where, inside of the plant, the insects will fall into water that is mixed with digestive enzymes. Not only that, but these closed pitchers have multiple see-through false exits, which exhaust their prey as they try to escape. Like this, the insect breaks down even faster in the easily absorbing nutrients. Weirdly enough, experts have yet to identify the natural pollinator of the cobra lily. Clearly, some type of insect gathers this flower's pollen without falling prey to it, but it is unknown which insect species this might be. Number 4. Trigger Plant this plant has quite the aggressive sounding name for such a gentle looking flower. It is actually unknown if this plant is actually carnivorous or just trying to protect itself from insects trying to chomp away at it. The trigger plant could be related to the Venus flytrap and works almost like its far related cousin too. Some species of trigger plants are equipped with sticky hairs, also called trichomes, which capture small bugs by snapping forward in a matter of milliseconds. Then, the leaves of these plants secrete digestive enzymes, which we've talked about a lot today, that slowly dissolve their unfortunate victims. Further research is still in progress, though, so we don't know if trigger plants actually derive any nutrition from their small prey or are simply getting rid of visitors they never wanted in the first place. Really, if you think about it, the bugs that are trying to eat this plant deserve to be punished, don't you think? Number 3. Moccasin Plant the moccasin plant was originally discovered in southwest Australia and checks all the boxes for your usual meat-eating plant that we have gone over quite a lot today. It attracts insects with a sweet scent and then lures them into its moccasin-layered pitchers, which is what they were named after, where the unfortunate bug is slowly digested. To further confuse their prey, the lids of these pitchers are translucent, which causes insects to knock themselves out trying to escape. What makes the moccasin plant unique is that it's more closely related to flowering plants like apple trees than it is to other carnivorous pitcher plants. Quite interesting, isn't it? The moccasin plant is also considered to be slightly toxic to dogs and people, and can cause irritation to the skin or mouth if it is eaten, so better stay away from it. Number 2. Trifiofolum the Trifiofolum is the largest of all confirmed carnivorous plants in the world, but its carnivorous nature did not become known until 1979, which was 51 years after the plant's first discovery. This plant has more stages in its life cycle than you could ever imagine. First, it grows unremarkable-looking oval-shaped leaves, which don't do much. Then, around the time it flowers, it produces long, sticky leaves that attract, capture, and digest insects with the common method of using a sweet smell. And lastly, it becomes a climbing viney equipped with short, hooked leaves, sometimes reaching lengths of over 30 meters or 100 feet. If this is creeping you out, there is no need to worry. Outside of greenhouses specializing in exotic plants, the only place you can encounter this plant is if you visited tropical West Africa. And so far, it is grown in just three botanical gardens, Abidjan, Bonn, and Würzburg. Number 1. Tropical Pitcher Plant the tropical pitcher plant is probably the scariest plant on today's list. One of the reasons would be that this plant doesn't only eat insects, but anything small enough that may fall into its trap. Basically, anything that is small enough to fit into the plant can end up on the menu. This can be anything from insects, small lizards, amphibians, and even small mammals. Like many other plants on this list, the pitcher plant attracts prey with sweet-smelling nectar. The doomed animals fall into the pitcher and are unable to get out. The digestion of prey can take as long as two months, which is pretty crazy. Just imagine you needed two months to digest the pizza you had for lunch. There are roughly 150 species scattered around the Eastern Hemisphere, mainly native to Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Fun fact. The tropical pitcher plant is also known as the monkey cup, as some of these plants are used as drinking cups by monkeys, which are way too large to be prey for the pitcher plant. And with that delightful plant, we've come to the end of this video. All we can say is that we're so grateful none of these carnivores are big enough to prey on us. We'd really like to hear what you think of these plants, so leave us a comment. After that, go ahead and click on one of the videos on your screen. See you there!